Okay, guys, we're going to be A-Level Lessons Online. Okay, you're going to be looking at question 6 in this part of this uh, next video. All right, we're going to be looking at this question on P and C, permutations and combinations, right? It is a chapter that I know a lot of us struggle with. Okay, it's not an easy topic to master. Uh, but once you kind of like do enough questions, okay, you'll slowly get it. You, you, you will start to get it and it'll get easier and easier over time, okay? Because the way of answering it is usually um, the, the, the method of doing it is should be roughly the same, right? So, um, grab yourself a pen, grab yourself a notebook, grab yourself a pillow, right? Just sit back, enjoy it, and um, try and learn, hopefully learn something from this video if you can, right? So, a children's game is played with 20 cards, so consisting of 5 sets um, of 4 cards. So, each set consists of a father, mother, daughter, and son from the same family. So the family names are red, blue, green, yellow, and orange. So simple, right? It's all colors. Um, so for example, the red family are father red, mother red, daughter red, and son red. Right, it's like their surnames, right? Interesting surnames. So the 20 cards are arranged in a row. So in how many different ways can the 20 cards be arranged so that the four cards in each family set are next to each other? Right, so that means the sets are next to each other. Um, in how many different ways can the card be arranged so that all five father's cards are next to each other? All four red family cards are next to each other and all four blue family cards are next to each other. Okay, so this one we're going to have to draw, right? Every time the P and C question gives you something a bit more challenging, make sure you draw it out. It really helps you to see things better. Last part is the cards are now arranged at a random in a circle. Find the prob probability. So we're looking at probability in this question. Um, that no two father cards are next to each other. All right, so let's get this cracking. Okay, question six, part one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw the 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 five different sets. Okay, I've got red, blue, green, yellow, orange. So I'm going to write them out based on their families uh, in a row. So I've got the red father, red mother, red daughter, red son. So this is one family. I have got the blue father, blue mother, blue daughter, and the blue son. And then I have got the yellow father, yellow mother, yellow, oops, the yellow daughter and the yellow son. And then the green father, green mother, green daughter and the green son. And lastly, I've got the orange father, orange mother, orange daughter and the orange son. All right, so these are the five families I have. So... Think of them like a whole set, okay? It's like a whole like whole set of them. And they are all in their own box, their own family, right? But they have to be arranged next to each other, okay? So, um, in order for this to be so, right? Firstly, we're going to have to find, okay? So, the number of ways in which this can be arranged. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you look within the families, okay? Uh, sorry, not within the families. You look at a whole, okay? You have got five different families here, which means that they can each take a different position, Okay, as a whole family, which means that the red family, for instance, over here, can actually be situated in this spot. Likewise, the yellow family could be situated in the other spot. So what we're going to do is there are five different permutations of doing this. So we're going to take five factorial. Okay, and next we look within the family. Okay, there are four family members each. So there's four family members in the red family, four in the blue, four in the yellow, four in the green, and four in the orange family. Which means that in which each family, they can actually permute and change positions four different times. So you take this and you multiply it by four factorial. And because I've got five different families here, I'll take this to the power of five. Okay, this is essentially basically just five factorial times four factorial. This is the red. And then I've got four factorial for the blue family. And I've got another 4 factorial for the yellow family, another 4 factorial for the green family, and lastly, another 4 factorial for the orange family. Alright, so that's why I've got 4 factorial to the power of 5, and this will leave me with the answer 9555148882. Alright, it's a huge answer. But um, that's basically how you do part 1. Okay, part 2. So part 2, the question is asking you, um, when the fathers have to be next to each other all right so let's draw this out again okay so firstly the red families have to be um together as well as the blue families have to be together okay the rest of the um families can be just um they can be somewhere else okay so we're gonna just um look at the case whereby the red the blue family are uh, together with their fathers and also with the rest of the fathers okay because that's what the question is asking so i'll have the red family over here 
So for instance, the red mother, red daughter, red son, and then I'll have the red father. So this is the special man over here. Okay, and next to him, he has to have the rest of the fathers. So let's say I'll have the green father, the yellow father, and the orange father next to him. And after that, then I'll have the blue father. Okay, reason being is because the blue father has to be with his own family. So he cannot be before that. If not, um, there will be uh, uh, the orange father between the blue father and the rest of the blue family. So after this, then I will have... After this, I'll have the blue mother, blue daughter, and the blue son. Alright, so this is essentially how it looks like, okay, when they're all standing in a row. Okay, then the rest of the family members of the green and yellow family will be outside. So this would be one whole um, one whole family, um, now group to themselves. Okay, and the rest of them will just be outside, right? So I'll have the um, green mother, green daughter, green son. And then the yellow mother, yellow daughter, yellow son, orange mother, orange daughter, and the orange son. Okay, so this will be a different group over here. Um, outside, okay, of the other group with all the fathers inside. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to see, okay, um, how are the groupings like. So you notice that one of the group will essentially look something like this. So it will have all of these. Okay, so whereby the um, the father is still with them. So it will be the red mother, daughter, son, and the father. Okay, yet this father has to be with the rest. So this red father will have to be with all the other fathers down here. And after that, we've got the blue family as well, which is going to be like this. All right, so how are we going to do this part? Okay, firstly, we see what are the um, total number of objects, okay, that we can actually um, um, permutate first. Um, Okay, actually, wait, let me just get rid of this box so that it looks easier. Okay, so on this, on the outside, okay, the there's no specific order in which they need to stand. Okay, so essentially, they're all on their own. Okay, outside over here in their own bubbles. Okay, so that means over here, if we're taking out the rest of them, there'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's going to be 9 of them over here. So taking this whole box okay, as an object, Okay, this whole box as an object, one object. Okay, and then this rest of the nine of them as the other um, object. Okay, the nine objects. Altogether, you'll notice that we have got 10 different um, positions for each one of them to be stepping in. Okay, which means that this whole group, this whole box over here, um, has to be in one position specifically altogether. Okay, but the rest of them, okay, the girl, the green mother, green daughter, green son, yellow um, mother, daughter, son, as well as the orange mother, daughter, son, can actually permute it and move anywhere else. They don't have to be next to each other. So that's why the number of ways you will first have 10 factorial. So it will be 9 plus 1. Okay, that's the 10 different permutations. And after that, then we look. Okay, we look within the groups. So within the mother... Let me use a green highlighter. So within this red mother, daughter, son, I can actually permutate them three times, right? So the three of them can change position. It doesn't matter where they are standing. So I'll have 3 factorial. And then on the other hand, for the blue mother, daughter, and son, um, I can do the same thing. So there will be another 3 factorial. And now I look at the middle. So the green father, yellow father, and orange father, they can also permutate around. So I will take another 3 factorial. Okay, then the last scenario I need to cons uh, consider is when this whole part, um, let me use blue, okay, when the whole red family over here, okay, actually swaps places with this blue family, and likewise, vice versa. Okay, which means that this will leave me with another two different permutations because they can swap with each other so there, there'll be two different permutations there'll be two factorial so this will leave me with the answer of one five six seven six four one six hundred different ways in which all of them can permute it all right so it's quite a um, tricky part you need to draw it out and make sure you, you highlight and, and understand what you're looking at okay the last part part three okay part three is actually one of the simplest parts um Firstly, let's just draw a circle to help us out. Okay, because we know that all of them are basically seated in a circle, okay? But it says that 15, right? I think it's 15. So the cards are now arranged, yeah. So find a probability, da, 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 da. Okay, so, so in this case, what we're going to be looking at, okay, is we're looking at when they're in a circle, um, how are they going to be arranged? Okay, so 
we are going to be taking out the fathers, correct? Okay, because the reason being is that we're using the inserting method here. Okay, they are saying that the um the probability that no two father cards are sitting next to each other, which means that if we have 20 of them all inside the circle, definitely the fathers may have a chance of sitting next to each other. So what we'll do is we'll take out the four different fathers. So you have got the red father, yellow father, green father, blue father, and the orange father, okay? So that means in the circle, we're going to be left with 15 of them. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to try and insert them in between over here. So you'll notice that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 as well. Okay, so so we're going to try and see how can we actually insert them. So firstly, what we'll do is we'll just permutate the rest of them who are already seated down. So the number of ways... Okay, so if we're going to permutate the rest of them who are already seated, so the rest of the daughters, the sons, and the mothers, okay, it will basically be your circle permutation method, which is always a mi n minus 1 factorial. So in this case, it will be 15 seats minus 1 factorial. And what we're going to do is we're going to, out of the five fathers, we're going to choose them to sit in the arrows, okay, to slot in in between. So we're going to have 15 of the, the different um, possible arrows that we can insert them. We're going to choose five of the fathers. Okay, and out of these five fathers, okay, they can also swap around and permutate. Okay, they don't have to stay at that specific seat. So we'll take this and multiply it by 5 factorial for them to permutate around the different arrows. Okay, and then lastly, we will take this whole thing and divide it by, because it's a probability question, if the probability that all of them are actually seated in the circle, right? So that will be your 20 and minus 1 factorial. Okay, and that will give you number of ways to be, uh, sorry, not number of ways, this is all wrong, sorry. This should be probability. Okay, I hope you guys spotted that out. Okay, I forgot this was a probability question. Okay, so your answer will then be 1001 over 3876. So that would be your answer, okay? So just to reiterate this part, every time you see that um, no two people can be sitting next to each other in a circle or in a row, okay, you likely have to use insertion method. So when you insert, you would choose Okay, out of the number of arrows that you have inserting, okay, choose how many of them needs to be inserted and then permutate them as well. Okay, then on the other hand, you also must make sure that you permutate the rest of them who are already seated around the circle. Okay, and that should give you that number of ways, or in this case, if it's a probability, you have to always divide it by the assumption that um, what if the probability of uh, the number of ways, sorry, that all of them will be sitting in a circle, which in this case, um, we cannot do in the first place okay, because um, the fathers may have a chance of sitting next to each other. So we cannot do that. So that's why we have to take them out. But if they are also included, uh, included then it will be just 20 minus 1 factorial. That will give you the total number of ways. Okay, so that's all for this question. I hope you understood. Okay, if you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section below. I'll answer them. Um, quite an interesting PNC question. Right? I think it's quite fun to do. Um, we'll definitely be doing a lot more of these, so not to worry. Okay, if you really do want more PNC questions, do let me know so that I can cater more time and more videos towards that. Um, if not, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and to subscribe to the channel. Okay, it doesn't cost you anything and it really does help me a lot as well. So that will be great. If not, yeah, that's all I have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.